Hello everyone, Exedra here bringing you episode 39 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emozewa Gamer. So, I still can't really put a finger on the lag, but I'm thinking it has to do with my new setups, because if you remember last episode, uh, I came back over here and there was a lot of uh, seeds just lying all over the place and there was like some coming out of this chest and everything but I stopped this right here and the farmer doesn't have any more power so technically all of this should no longer be a problem and hopefully it's going to be the stop of the lie. So we'll get back to that later it's not really important right now. In between episode I start a lot more iron because iron equals steel and we're going to need a lot of steel. Also, I prepared a lot of more material. So if I come back here, as you can see, prepared a lot of more LV wire, a lot more treated wood plank. I now have 10 heavy engineering block, 36 light engineering block, and oh, I thought I'd created a crap ton of redstone engineering block, but oh no, I don't need that many of those. So that's why I put them aside. Here I've been trying to just keep up with, oh, let me just check. Yeah, keep up with produ producing steel because we're going to need more steel. Before we get into that though, time to do a little bit of quest cleanup. I really want to get rid of this better storage quest and there's only two left. And I now have, guess what? Enough diamond. So let me grab all of my diamond. Oh god, that hurts. That hurts so much the idea of getting rid of all of my diamonds. But... Getting rid of that quest is worth it. So, I need some colossal chest wall that I'm going to make with willow wood and diamonds. And I'm going to be careful not to overclick because I only need 26. Uh, 24, 26. And then I'm going to remove all of those because I don't want to waste any. And then it's, I need one um, chest core. I'm going to need one iron for that. So one chest core, right like so. And what was the other thing? The other thing is an interface. And I need two more cobblestone. So I'm going to grab six because, you know, it makes sense. Why six? Because I already have two and I'm going to need to do this twice. So let's do this. I'm going to make one only. Et voila. So this is done. Quest completed. Diamond Colossal Chest. So let's go to Better Storage and voila. The Diamond Colossal Chest has a diamond chest worth of slot per block. And let's grab this quest, uh, this loot. Obsidian Colossal Chest. So the Obsidian Colossal Chest is an explosion resistant diamond colossal chest. So I need to come back here and grab a crap, oh yeah, a crap ton of obsidian. And now, if I remember correctly, it's basically a colossal chest surrounded by. So let's do this for the chest wall, which gives me 24 and, huh, no. Okay, so I'm glad I've got a bit more diamond because I actually need two more of these. It seems that this interface and this chest core are going to be a waste. And let me just put the obsidian here. Oh, I still need 16 of them. Uh, 16, why do I need 16? Because I need to transform them first. Because as you can see right here, the interface needs a colossal chest wall. So I'm going to make those two. And then I can go colossal chest core like this. And then colossal chest wall like this. Et voila, that's another quest and a little bit of lag so it might not be i really don't know what's causing my lag this is honestly super annoying so this quest is completed which means a whole other quest line finished better storage bye bye you're done so i'm going to put these diamonds back and i only have eight left now and i'm going to throw all of this in here because i don't care let's just open this quickly Rainbow bricks and mob filters. I'm going to put those in here. Rainbow bricks and mob filters. And you know what? I have a new completed 
thing. Better storage completed. Let's claim that trophy. And I don't know where better storage fits. You know what? For now, you're going to fit right here. Until I find a place to put you because you're not like a special thing that I did. Whatever. It's not important. But what's important is that it's another one done. So now we're back to a regular program schedule. Um, heavy machinery. So I now have many options, but I want to get the hop graphic one because I want to open new things. And the hop graphic needs um, an arc furnace. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. They're using the arc furnace, but we need a multi-block squeezer. So last episode, we started looking at the squeezer. So let's go in heavy machinery. And the squeezer is basically this contraption which needs steel scaffolding, fluid pipe, redstone engineering, two light, four wooden barrel, one piston, and three steel fence. If I remember, I made a crazy ton of pistons. Yeah, 47. Because I was tired of having to deal with piston one at a time. Ah, oh, really? Rain? But it's not night. So I'm going to have to deal with the degraded video quality, even though I hate it. Let's grab all of this, this, these two, and let's just check what does the squeezer require? What does the squeezer require? Six. I need two fluid pipe and four wooden barrel. I have the four wooden barrel right here, and I have the two fluid pipe right here. So now, if I'm looking at this, it should say, "Yep, yeah, I got everything." So this goes pretty quickly. But there's one thing you can do. You can pause it. And then you can say, show me the first level. So in the first level, you see the orange is the light. And then you see one, two, three, four, five, six steel scaffolding. And I believe these two to be two pipe. So let's go back here and we're going to try and build this here. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and then steel pipes like so. It doesn't look like it though let me go back to the first level not sure what this is here so let me continue so i got the six steel the two fluid pipe next level i believe is a redstone and a normal and four fluid barrel so four wooden barrel i'm gonna go three four the second like this and the redstone engine is right here no, not this one. I need the book. And then the last level is three fence and a piston. So fence, fence, fence. And the piston has to be right here facing down. So I'm going to need a wrench. Hopefully the immersive engineering wrench works. No, I don't have an immersive engineering wrench. So the other wrench that I've been using since the beginning. The one from Basic Factory. It's not in here. It's right here. So the monkey wrench, it's called. Let's go back here under the rain again for lowered video quality. Because that's what we're all about. No. Oh, this is... Okay, this is going to be annoying. Maybe if I put it straight down. What if I put... No, that doesn't work gonna try something different if I go like this and I go looking up at it oh yeah that worked perfect so now if we break this and this we should be able to transform this finger crossed and nope okay let's do this again so no one two three four five six so this is the one that I don't know what it is. F two fluid pipe. It does look like the second fluid pipe. But how is the first not working? So this is all the level, then four. Maybe there's something in here. Let me just play it show again. Something there, those two, this. Nothing here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the problem is this pipe right here, but I'm not sure how to get it done. What if I put it right here? Huh. No. 
what if I put it facing that way? Still no. Wow, that's not what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting to get any issue. Um, what can I do? So let's read this again. It goes six steel scaffolding. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make sure these are still scaffolding. So yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that makes sense. And built as shown above and formed by using an engineer hammer on the center. Oh, okay. That's just one second. Let's do that back again. And it's using the hammer on. Nope. Maybe this way. Yeah. Oh, come on. I've never really noticed that there was a specific place to hit. But this is an industrial squeezer. Now, how does this work? Let's search for sque oh, squeezer. No, no, no. Okay, so I'm going to have to search for hop. Hop graphite ingot is done in the... Furnace, smart input. Oh, the arc furnace. No. Nope. So the up graphite dust is done in. No, no, no. Which one is this one? The industrial squeezer. So we have to squeeze eight coke, coke, coal, dust. Perfect. I should have that. Eight coal, coke. Well, I, I don't know why I'm looking in this furnace. This is clearly not the coal, coke one. Let's put that right here. Let's put that right here. And the coal coke is going to be in this one. Yes, perfect. Let's go back to the squeezer. Put this in here. And now let's just read about this because that probably is going to be easier. Item can be inputted into the squeezer via the two hatch at the back. They are marked with blue dots. The hatch with the orange dot serves as an item output and the block below it to output fluid the block below it to output fluid why would there be fluid though um applying redstone signal to the control panel at the front will halt the machine's process this behavior can be inverted okay the following lists show various items that can be squeezed into plant oil and the amount they produce melon seed pumpkin seed beetroot seed seeds industrial hemp seed So how does that recipe work? This is the crusher, no. So this is the squeezer. Oh, coke dust. Ah, oh, okay. So I actually need a squeezer, uh, a crusher. So I guess it's time for the next machine. If we come back here, we need a crusher. So the crusher is 10 steel scaffolding, nine hopper and eight steel fence. Nine hopper, wow, that's a lot of hoppers. So four is gonna create eight chest. I'm gonna need two stacks. I'll just do two stack just because I don't wanna have to uh, change multiple times. So that's going to be four chests. This is going to be eight chest. Do I already have other chest? 10 so nine chests like this great so that's nine hoppers that was a much easier than i thought still no, not hop graphic so steel scaffolding steel scaffolding is steel ingot and steel wire so let's go grab a lot of steel and you know what let's put that iron back in this machine so that we can continue and I'm going to need some more carbon. I never set up my secondary farm. So now I'm in a situation where I don't have as much. Um, I don't have as much coal while well, charcoal as I wanted. Because if I come back here because I never set up the bigger setup. I'm just like limited in my charcoal. I was hoping to have a lot more by now. But I kind of moved on to another quest and another quest and. First thing you know, I wasn't really paying attention to this. Let's do this and then steel scaffolding like so. Not you. So that's going to be 12. 
So that should be good enough, but now we need some steel fences. Fences. Like so. Oh, I need more of those. Make two set of rod and the rest in steel fence. Uh, just going to make nine for now because this seems a lot. And it's night so I can actually go sleep. Yes. Getting rid of the rain. That's a good point. So, let's look at the book again. The Crusher. I'm going to pause this. This is a much bigger machine. It's a 3 by 4 or 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be 3 light, 3 scaffolding. So let's go back there. And we're going to, I'm going to put it right next to this here. So 3 light. Oh, <clears throat> I just said three light while putting down scaffolding. So I meant three light, three scaffolding, two light, and let's go back to the book. Uh, scaffolding, perfect. So the rest is one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Perfect. Now let's look at the next level. The next level is three light again and the fence around a light so light 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 and now the steel fence so the steel fence goes one two three four five seven eight nine I'm gonna have to jump over this so that's the second level I also need a light right here and a redstone engineering block right there perfect and now the rest is pretty simple. I think it's tree light in the back again and the rest hoppers. Oh no, just the hoppers. Great. And just the hoppers. So now let's grab these nine hoppers and go one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, and let's go. Voila. And that's a crusher. And the crusher is pretty useful because it crushes things. Come on, guys. You never thought I was going to say that it's used to crush things. So now I need more power. Hmm. So I'm going to come here, grab some cables, some LV wire, some relays, and this, and some wooden post. What I'm going to hope for is that I can bring power down here. So what if I put a post right here and a post right there? Not sure that's going to work, but I'm more than willing to try it. So uh, LV wire relay. Wow, I'm doing parkour now. Ugh, I forgot, you can fall in the crusher and falling in the crusher is bad. If it was working, I'd be getting damaged. So let's go get some cobblestone because I don't want to fall in the crusher again. And I'm going to grab all of this. And I'm also going to grab some chest because I didn't put any chest for the output and I'm going to need some. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I already had some on me. I, I don't remember grabbing this wood. So let's grab some chests like so. Or I guess like so. <laughs> and let's go back here and it's time to put some chest down. So this one said that this orange mark was the output and this one has the output. Where's the output? That's not the output. Maybe that's the output. Ugh, I'm covering the light. Okay, I'm not happy about that, but if that's what it is, that's what it is. So let's just build a little cobblestone scaffolding right here. We're going to put a wire relay right here, a wire relay right there. And then this one needs a LV wire connector right here. And this one needs a wire connector right there, which means that this is not the right option. Let's just break that right now. Come on. Oh, it didn't break. Where's the relay? I guess it went back in my inventory. I sure hope so. So I'm going to put the wooden post right here. And I'm going to put the relay up oh, right. Can I hit the top? Nope. 
Oh, we can climb up these. <gasps> I didn't know. We can climb on top of these. This is amazing. Well, amazing. Let's not exaggerate, but it's kind of cool. So this to that and this to that. Perfect. And now this. Please connect to that. Yes, everything's connected. Okay, that's amazing. But no power. What's wrong here? Is this out of power? No, it's not out of power. But it's getting emptied. This is not using power. Oh, it's not using power until you actually need it. I completely forgot about that. This one's not full, but this one's full. So now look at how this works. I'm going to do a simple example first. First, I'm going to use some cobblestone. So you throw it in and you have this really noisy noise and it's crushing the uh, cobblestone. Let me do 14 more. You throw 14 and it does one, then two, and it just produced them one after the other. And that's how we're going to get gravel because we're not able to get gravel from the, uh, ah, and I lagged again. Maybe immersive engineering is lagging this pack because since immersive engineering, I started getting this lag. The problem is that you can't take anything out of the crusher. You can put a switch here to stop it, but you have to wait for everything to be crushed. So while we're waiting for this, let's count a little bit of cold coke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, that's another eight. Yeah. So another eight right here. One, two, three, another eight right here. So that's 24. So let's just put these 24 in and we should get 24 coal coke dust. So I'm just going to have to let that work. Coke dust, not coal coke dust. While we're waiting, I'm just going to remove this little cobblestone scaffolding that we built. And this little steel scaffolding that I need to take back. So that's basically two machinery to make the hop graphite fight. And that's nine, so let's grab those nine, come back here and put these in here. And it's still not doing anything. I'm guessing it requires a liquid. Let me just get some um, a pumpkin. Let me go back here and get some pumpkin seed. Do I really want no, 64? So it's going to be enough for now. So let's start with 64. And by the way, if you didn't know, immersive machines are very loud. So let's come back here and put these in and it's not working. Mate, does it need something else or, oh, I never connected it. Derp. I thought I had connected it. So this to this. Oh, it can't. Ouch. This is too close. Uh, okay, stop hurting me. So basically what I'm going to do is destroy this and grab all of these and I'm going to put the post in the back. It's not far enough. I'm going to put the post one back further right here. Hopefully this can still connect, although I'm not sure. So I'll go click and hmm, I'm going to have to restart that. So relay on top of here, shift right click, shift right click, shift right click, and ow, oh my god, these wires really hurt in this pack, it's crazy, and now can I connect this, so this right here to right here, yes, perfection, and this one let's reconnect. Let's reconnect, I said, this one to this one. Yes, okay, so now we have all of our machine reconnected. And this is all done. Let's grab all of this cold coke and come right here. And now it's doing the, um, it's doing the plant oil, which is not necessarily the one I wanted to do. Hmm. I wonder if the cold coke so why did it do the cold coke though? I'm going to just reread the book quickly, see if it's something that I missed from reading the book. 
so oh, I'm still not done heat eating. So what does this say? If I go back to squeezer, no, you know what? I'm going to go to um, overview and resource graphite, highly ordered pyrolithic graphite hop is a complex, highly compressed carbon material used in special engineering construct. Hop graphite dust is created by compressing eight pieces of coke dust in the industrial squeezer. That dust can then be smelted into an ingot. Okay, so I guess it didn't need this pumpkin oil. So I'm going to try and get this to get to 2000. So I can extract it with buckets. Let me go grab some buckets right here because I have a feeling that this is, it just did that one first because it's the easiest of the two recipe. So that's one bucket, 600. So that's gonna be 640, that's going to be 680. That's going to be 720. That's going to be eight, 800, eight, 40, 880, 920, 960, 9, 1000. So that's going to be the next bucket. Whew, so at least it's a multiple of 40, so it's easy to get two buckets. So let's get these two buckets. And then we're going to be done with the plant oil. And now let's just put the coke dust in. Yes! Perfect. So that's all it needed. So we did end up making some plant oil buckets, which is not really necessary. But now we're going to be refining coke dust into hop graphite dust. And if I come here, that's one. And from my understanding, all I need to do is put it in one of those furnace, like so. And that's going to go give us a hop graphite ingot. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect, yes. Okay, so that's really good. We got a whole other step done. And I'm just going to take one second to grab all the graphite that I have. Uh, not the graphite, sorry. All the coke coal that I have. All of this. And do I have any here? Yeah, all of it. And I'm going to put all of this in the crusher. And once it's crushed, I'm going to put it all in there. And don't fall in it because, like I said, this is going to damage you. So this is all in here. And this is producing the up graphite dust that we can turn into up graphite ingot. And that's one quest done. So let me put all of that in here because we still have the cooking and that's one quest done. That required too heavy machinery to complete. Now, which is the next one that we would want to attack? Let's look at biodiesel. By combining ethanol made in a fermenter and plant oil made in a squeezer in a refinery, you can make biodiesel. So here we need a fermenter and a refinery. So that's a two machine deal. The cloche, the garden cloche uses power and water to grow crop faster. So let's look at what the cloche is. Let's come back here, come back here and go simple machine, garden cloche. So garden cloche is a form of glass, a vacuum tube, Two treated wood plank and an iron mechanical component. Ah, oh, and now we have a spawnable area back there. Okay, that's something we're going to have to watch for. Let's just do this. Where are my torches? No torches here. What about here? Yeah, I got some torches. So let's just go and torch the place a little bit because I don't want any spawns. So let's do one here, one there, one in the middle right here, one back there. That should be good. Uh, let's just, for the luck of it, just come here and do right here. And hopefully that should be good. I always forget that when you build a new machine, you might introduce some new places where you have an issue. I don't want any of these pumpkins, so I'm going to go get rid of them. And I'm going to get rid of the pumpkin seed in here for now. Perfect. So we were talking about the garden cloche. 
The garden cloche is needs a iron mechanical component and a vacuum tube. The vacuum tube is two iron plate and a copper ingot, but I need an engineer's blueprint. Used an element in electronics and used in light emitting device. How do I make the engineer's blueprint? Cleaning these components more frequently may be advisable to draft a blueprint for them. This blueprint in an engineer workbench will allow you to construct a component at a reduced cost. Okay, so three paper, three lapis, an iron, an aluminum, and a copper. That shouldn't be so expensive. One, two, three. That's going to be the paper. One, two, three, the lapis. Now I need, what is this? This is a thin, tin ingot. Is this an aluminum? Nope. Ooh, I don't think that I ever made aluminum. So aluminum ingot or aluminum, what's the alchemical component? Alchemical, yeah, right here. So aluminum is enriched bone meal and blaze powder. Really, enriched bone meal. That's a really weird recipe. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Let's do the enriched bone meal. And with the rotten flesh, that's four enriched bone meal. And I'm going to need eight of these blaze powders. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go and put this in one of our alchemical fusion table right here. And let's grab the first bunch. I'm going to have to intercept the iron here because what I discovered is that, oh, what I've discovered is that unfortunately this is not producing um, the glass thing, the shards fast enough. So it doesn't do the left until the right is over, which was kind of okay in the beginning where I didn't need that many material. But when I'm trying to do two sets at the same time, it doesn't really work. Are you going to give me some aluminum at some point? Oh, it's still using the last part of iron, like this little thing wasn't finished. Perfect, so now it's doing aluminum. I only need one aluminum. Hello. Okay, so that should be one aluminum, perfect. And what was the oh, garden cloche? Blueprint, sorry, blue. I said blueprint. Blueprint right here. Engineer's blueprint is. Oh, there are multiple version. Ah, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So it's it's basically a recipe that gives you the one that you want. So I want this one, the crafting components. I need an iron, an aluminum, and a copper. So an iron, an aluminum, and a copper like so so let's do that one i thought it was going to make a generic blueprint that i would then have to change uh charge with something in some way or another so aluminum and silver right here oh was it silver no it was iron so let's return the silver grab one iron so one iron right here Perfect. And now that we have this one, I can look in the book again. So back, back. The vacuum tube is made of two iron plate and a copper. Iron, iron, copper. I need those two to be iron plate. So iron plate like so. And then I can go in the workbench, put the blueprint, put the two iron plate and the copper ingot and Oh no, that's the iron mechanical component. That, oh, that is a much cheaper recipe. And if you make it this way, it's only two iron plate. Okay, I'm really in love with this, but which one's the one for the projectile arc furnace electrode? Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, okay, electrode, is there another way of making it? No, oh, wait, these are the electrode. Okay, so not that one. Let me look at the, 
Let me look back at here. What's the vacuum tube? Oh, vacuum tube is three vacuum tube is copper wire, a glass and a redstone and the crafting component. So two copper wire, a glass and a redstone. Uh, a glass and a redstone and two copper wire. So two copper plate like so. And now oh, I need a wire cutter. My wire cutter is going to be back there. Pretty simple. It's just a question of, I didn't, oh, I have two here. I didn't know that you needed to make multiple different, uh, you could make multiple different recipe with one blueprint. So this, this, a glass and the redstone right here. Three vacuum tube. Perfect. So what's left for the cloche? Oh. Garden cloche is four glass, a vacuum tube and two treated wood planks. So two glass right here. Oh, two glass, one, two. And then the four treated wood plank are going to be gotten from back here. One, two, three, four. I'm only going to need one tube. Let's just put one tube here and grab the rest. And I think it's also, where is it crafted from? It's in a crafting grid. So I should have stayed back here and just done it here. So it's going to be glass, glass, iron component, electron tube. It's four glass, of course. So I'm missing two glass. It's not four plank. It's four glass. So let me go get back two more glasses. Um, one, two, oh, one, two like this. Let's go back there. This is another piece that's going to be completed. Amazing. So, and the line seems to be a lot less. So I have a strong feeling that part of what was happening was the items on the ground. So that's another one done. And that one I'm probably going to want to use. Basically you put down and one input is power or, and here is an input for water. But this thing's kind of cool looking. I can't wait to put that in a field. I feel like it's a good looking item to place in the middle of a field. Next, oh, not next this, next this way. So immersive engineering is going to take a little bit more time just because of the complexity of how many items we need to make. Medium voltage. MV wires move around more RF than LV wires and can still be insulated. So MV wire. Let's search for MV wire. I think that one's going to be more expensive because of the type of material. So the MV wire is done with electrum. Ouch. Yeah, so this is much more expensive because... Electrum, oh, I grabbed the wrong Electrum ingot. I want the Immersive Engineering Electrum. So, Electrum ingot, the one from Immersive Engineering is made, oh, in an arc furnace when I make my art furnace. So it's silver and gold. So that I'm not going to be able to do today because I don't have enough Electrum, but what I can do is grab one stack of silver and one stack of gold, and I can put that in the kiln and get it working at least. So let's go back here and put that in the kiln right here. Ooh, I still need something to cook it with. Let's go grab my coke dust and let's put all of this in my squeezer because this is all going to become uh, up graphite. Some more. So now my problem is having a um, method of cooking um, because when I'm not using power, I need to use charcoal. So even though it's not necessarily something I wanted to spend time on, this has obviously become a, bottle, a bottleneck for me and I'm going to have to prioritize that now. I'm gonna to have to use my time lapse to actually make the charcoal. So this is, well, the the biggest charcoal production that I wanted. If you remember, I created a second level here, a sub level right here, where I started putting all of these uh, bonsai trees and wow, these are kind of all full. So I want to extract from all of these and have a bank of furnace, not just one, like multiple furnace. 
and just start producing a crazy amount of charcoal. So that's going to definitely need to be done in this time lapse. I'm just going to go back here and put this in the kiln because I want my electrum for the next episode. It's always good to be ready for the next step. Always produce more steel because steel is really important. And I guess all of this can go in here because I feel that's pretty much the limitation of what I'm going to be able to do for this episode. So these are going to need electrum and the high voltage will need something even higher. Then we are going to make projectile, alternating flux. Okay, so this one using kinetic energy. Uh, if I look at the time, I could probably try and complete it and end with a 50 minutes episode. That's why I produced all of this um, treated wood. And you, you know what was coming, right? Come on, guys, admit that you knew what was coming. You knew I was going to say, eh, let's try. So if I, oh, I know why I won't be able to. I remember now. Oh, I'm wrong, like always. So I need eight of these. So that's going to be just four. Let's do all of these. This again, six, seven, eight. I don't want to produce too much because honestly, this is not useful. It's not useful. It doesn't produce enough power to be worth wasting time with. If I'm going to waste time with anything, it's going to be with finishing my canola oil setup so that it's amazing and producing a crazy amount of uh, canola oil. So, uh, just as I was saying that lag wasn't being so bad anymore, I get this piece of lag again. And by piece of lag, I mean an hour of lag. Then I need a water wheel. So let's just look at water wheel. So I need these water wheel. I need four water wheel segment and a steel. So a water wheel segment like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. Couldn't ask for more. So let's go back here, grab one steel. And I really thought I was going to waste too much time on that one, but it's not that bad. So that's going to be one water wheel. So that's two part done. Now we need the kinetic dynamo, kinetic dynamo, like so, which is uh, two copper coil. Do I still have? Oh, I have two left and I want to make two. Do I really want to make two? Yeah, I'm, I want to make two. I want to make two so I can plug both because even though I said I don't want to waste time with these, I don't want to like produce major fields of them. I still want to set them up because if we made them, it's part of the pack. It's something I want to use. So that's another quest completed. Let's grab this loot chest, claim back. And now, so this, okay, using all the wind, the windmill sail. You can add windmill sails to your windmill to make them generate more power. The windmill sail is the issue I was talking to you about. Windmill sail. The windmill sail need tough fabric and tough fabric is made with industrial hemp fiber. And I think that industrial hemp fiber is a problem. I don't know if I ever brought these to, uh, did I ever make them go to level 10? I did. Oh no, those are hemp seed. Where are the hemp fiber? Really? So I just got unlucky. It's one of those that sometimes produce only the seed. Sometimes it produces the fiber, but I need a lot of them, which means I need a field of them. So since I have this 10, 10, 10, also as part of my time lapse, I'm going to set a small field of those probably here. Uh, or maybe here, like I'm going to, I'm going to break these because I still want to mature them, but as you can see, I really put that project aside recently because I was too concentrating on moving the pack forward. Or maybe I'm just going to use a stack of bone meal and just bone meal the crap out of these hemp seed. But technically, as you just saw, I need, I think I'm going to need eight of these windmill sale, uh, windmill sale. Yeah, eight. So eight of them is going to require 
8 times 8, so 64 industrial amp fiber. Oh no, even more than that because it's 8 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 8. So I'm going to need to set up a field for sure. I might even need to put a farmer to automate grabbing them because I don't want to waste all of my time just watching this grow. Do I have... Oh, no, I don't have anywhere close to enough. I was going to say, you know what? Maybe I do have enough, but I don't. If I put this back here, and was it a treated stick? No, it's just a regular stick. So I need eight, nine stick. Let's go right here, go like this, and we can make nine of these. And it's going to make one windmill sail. So as you can see, this is a time lapse thing. I'm going to have to complete that in the time lapse while well, complete preparing the material. And then. Biodiesel, I need to craft two machines. So if I still have time, I'm going to make sure that I have all of the items that I need to make a refinery. And oh, I already have a, and a fermenter. So a fem fermenter and a refinery. So we can set up these two machines. And then we're going to be able to move forward with these. Void sample. Core sample drills give you information about the resources in your chunk. So it's called a void samples, but I don't have anything I can mine here. So I'm not sure how it works because I've never tried it. But I'm really curious to see, and I guess we'll figure out in an episode or two. So let's just finish with opening these reward and having a view on our new machinery right here. And we'll go into the time lapse and continue this. And we're back on track, guys. So this is an engineer sky hook. And this is a small to medium storage crate and an artifact loot back. Let's just open it. Angelic Fetter. Okay. Rending Gale. Okay. And Magic Hood. If I remember... Oh, I... I paused and I lagged. This is not something I ever imagined would happen. So if I remember correctly, the Rending Gale... Let me just eat to make sure... But I think the Rending Gale is also a way of jumping fast and going up. Remember when I was trying to go on my farm every time I'm like... We've passed the 40 minute mark and the lag is in. So it's really something that's cumulative over time. Let me finish eating and I can show you this. So I think that the advantage of this is that remember how I have to climb here? I can use this. Or not. Okay, so it's not what I thought. I thought that the Rending Gale was something that made you fly and lag again. So it's really 40 minutes is the time where you have to stop recording and go to your time lapse because I need to reboot. Let's just stop that and let's end the episode here. I'm going to go in my time lapse, prepare a crap ton of things so that we can fill this whole place with machinery. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!